Lacey Bird Care, drinking a dirty martini with a little onion in it. Mmm. Question. I love dirty martinis, and I do have vermouth. But what is the point of vermouth? I googled it. I get it. It makes it drier. But it, if you put a little bit too much vermouth in your martini, ruins it. It's like rancid. So I'm like, it takes so little vermouth that sometimes, you, why bother? But anyway, I have it anyway. I am just got up early at the strawberry farm, so I thought I'd make another video. I made another one because it's my birthday month. May is my birthday month, so it's May Bay. I'm May Bay, Gemini, so that's happening. But there's just some everyday little rants that I... That's going on with me. Going to work, you know how you want to get to work. You want to get to work. You want to get there early and all that kind of stuff. There's this one intersection that takes forever to go through. It's a long intersection, right? So I'm stuck there. I'm waiting. I'm trying to get to work. But... For some reason, this intersection, intersection is taking longer than normal. Like, you know how it goes through the cycles? I would say about, maybe it went through about four cycles. And I'm like, what's going on? How come we're not going? How come it's not turning green? Everyone else is going. This way's going. This way's going. This way's going. Turns going. Everyone's going. But our way right four times is turning through and I'm looking around and I'm thinking why is it taking so long sorry I got the TV on going on so I keep looking up and stuff you know squirrel um I don't you know I know this intersection takes a long time right and uh, I know in the road when you drive through it there's little well, I call it tricks or whatever there's a certain sensors that lets you know when the tire when people are going through the intersection so they it kind of helps the lights I always thought this was the case but then some intersections I think they're just too busy to deal with that they're just gonna be on a timer so I don't know what is the case but this one I think is on some kind of sensor because after the third going through the cycle and we're not going anywhere I was looking around and the two cars that were in front of the crosswalk were they stopped way like here's the crosswalk here's where the light turns red and yellow and all that they are way over here way over here and I see this a lot I see a lot of you motorists do this it always irks me. It always irks me, and I never understand why. Now, granted, I understand you don't want to go into the crosswalk. I know you don't want to go too close to the intersection. That's good, but I'm talking you're far way back. Which I never understood. Never understood. Don't get it. The only thing I could think of that why the intersection took so long that we were stuck there for like four boom 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 is because they were so away from the crosswalk they didn't trick the little sensors in the street now after the fourth round of we're not going anywhere the people like I was about ready to jump over the curb I was seeing my way because there were some people that also stopped far, far away from the other car which I don't get. I Now I get you don't want to be close to the car because you don't want to ram into them or anything, but they're so far away. I was thinking about making my exit. So I'm looking around like, how do I got to get to work? This is, I don't know what's going on. We're not going anywhere. I, I noticed they were far away. Finally, they start inching, which is another thing I don't get. They're so far away, but then when it gets closer to closer to the turning green, they inch towards the front. Weird. They inched, and then by the fifth turnaround, we finally got green. 
So I'm like, oh, they finally tricked the censors. So just a PSA. <laughs> Please pull up to the stop. Please pull up to the stop. Because there's some intersections, I really believe, there's censors in the street. And if you don't pull up to the stop, they don't think there's any traffic. So the light's not going to turn green. So you're going to be sitting there forever. Which I don't understand people in vehicles that do this sort of thing. I thought you were trying to go somewhere. You're in your car. You want to go somewhere, right? So why do you just sit there? Why do you go slow? Why do you go this far away from the internet? Why are you, are you on your phone instead of driving and just stuck at the light? There's so many things that people do stupid on the road that I don't even understand why even on the road. Like we're all on the road for one reason. We need to get somewhere. So we all need to work together to get us somewhere. Now safely. I don't like speed demons. Where I work, oh my god, I'm next to a high school. For some reason... The new thing is cars being loud, and it's any car. The louder the vehicle, the better. They even like the muffler to blow out. Um, I've seen it. Like fire and smoke and backfire. And you would think you would see race cars, right? Or a motorcycle. No, sometimes I look up for a loud vehicle, it's a truck. It's a van. It's an old car. It's a car with a little spoiler, like a taped up spoiler. It's a brand new Camaro. It is, um, it, insert whatever car you want. But somehow people are going out of their way to make their car loud. And I'm not talking just your normal loud. I'm talking this is on purpose loud, where sometimes I even see fire, uh, like coming out of the muffler, and there's been a fire, like a little bit of, like they, they get sparked, and luckily the fire's been put out, setting up alarms for other cars, like it sounds like a bad Harley Davidson going by. I know it's not a new thing. It was back in the day, but it's coming back, and it's so annoying. Because we're getting the strawberry farms. Like, we're at an intersection, and we're next to, like, a high school. So it's like, I can't wait for that, that to end. This is, this is a bad that's annoying. Of course, I hate loud noises anyway. I hate fireworks. It messes up with my animals. It messes up with me. I'm all cuddled up nice in my toasty bed. And my animals are all cozied with me. And all of a sudden fireworks happen and they all run. And then I'm awake and it's just chaos. My birds are having a heart attack. Alarms are going off. I've always hated loud stuff. Even when I was a little kid, I hated fireworks. I don't know where you live, but this Fast and Furious thing... They're, they're really into loud vehicles. And it's just a pet peeve of mine. There's a lot of, there's like so many pet peeves I wanted to like talk about, like I like I think about, and I don't really say. I don't even know what else. Um, I guess I'll just end it on that. It's like 10 things. But this, this and then people taking over the streets, these these cars is taking over the streets and they spin around. It's just, I'm just over it. And, of course, like a baggy pants, I'm always over it. Like, this has been 20 years. Baggy pants on men. Can you please stop? Can you, can can I not see your underwear anymore? It's, it's been a fashion for over 20 years. Like, maybe 30 years. I don't know. 90? Yeah, since the 90s. That's another pet peeve of mine. It's just get some pants that fit. Please get some pants that fit. I know this is my little ranting video. This is my little ranting video because I'm, I'm drinking a martini. So, you know, got off early at the strawberry farm. So, 
and I gotta wake up early tomorrow. Are others, oh! TMZ showed a picture of the new Kardashian home. I guess Chloe and Kim, no, Chloe and her mother, Chris, got a, is building houses. They tore down houses and they build these houses, mansions, multi million dollar homes. They're not finished yet. But I'm seeing what it looks like. They have, you could probably Google it. There's a big flaw in their homes. No balconies, no real balconies. There might be some balconies I don't see, but there's no balconies. There's no rooftop. No rooftop. I'm sorry. If you have, if you're going to spend that much money on a house, and you don't live at the ocean, you don't really, you don't live in the mountains, there's no view, the best thing you could do is have a balcony or rooftop that you could go to, to overlook, to see the sunset, to see the sunrise, to see the view, not on ground level, you can't see anything ground level, to go up and see a view of the world, of the sky. There's no skylights in these mega mansions that uh, Kris uh, Jenner and Khloe Kardashian are, bu yeah, are building. No skylights, no balconies, and no rooftop. What's the point? What is the point? I'm sorry, I don't get it. I mean, I understand if you move into a house that doesn't have all that, but if you're building something put a balcony put a rooftop now maybe they're worried about paparazzi or maybe they're going to flip these houses but if they're going to flip it then for sure put a balcony skylight and rooftop on but it's for yourself okay maybe they're trying to hide from the paparazzi maybe that's why i just don't understand homes especially in california i get if there's snow if you if you live in a place where you can't have that because the weight if there's any snow or rain the weight of it could destroy the house but what's the point in living anywhere if you don't have a balcony or a rooftop somewhere we could go outside and look at the world that's just my opinion that is my opinion i would never pay top dollar for anything that doesn't have something like that and i would never do a one-story house if i'm going to spend money it has to be two stories it has to be i gotta get more bang for my buck so this is maybe just a rant video my martini rant i don't know try to think of more maybe i'll do more later because i think about certain things like oh when you're driving down the road another driving thing it's a two-lane highway if there's two cars right here no one has to go ahead of the other don't bogart the road because when two people and there's a two-lane highway the people behind can't get around you guys i don't care if you guys are going slow well if you're going slow it's bad if you're both if you're going to speed okay i'll give you a pass but most of the time they're both going slow and you're just constipating the whole road behind you when I'm driving and I see I'm next to a car and we're going the same speed, either I get behind them or I speed up and I get in front of them. I try to have an out for the people behind me. You don't ever have two people side by side in the lanes going this way. You don't do that. Etiquette. There's little etiquette that's not law. It's not law. But there's etiquette, just like when you're walking down the sidewalk and you have a group of people taking over the sidewalk, you don't do that. When you see people coming this way, you go single file so people can cross. What I hate is when I'm walking down the sidewalk and there's a gang of people and I'm going the opposite way, they're coming this way, and it's a crowd, and then I have to go to the street to go around them. No one could go single file. Ducks figure it out. Ducks go single file. Animals figure it out. If you're on a sidewalk and you see someone coming the opposite way, 
You make room for them. Especially when it's just little old me. So many rants I can tell you. Like bikes? Bikes? No, bikes, you don't belong in the sidewalk. You get in the friggin' street. Skateboards? Get in the friggin' street. Pedestrians are the lowest ones on the totem pole, and we just get screwed. Because everyone takes over our sidewalks, and where else? We, we can't walk in the street. Sidewalks are pedestrians. Pedestrians, sidewalks. Period. No motor scooters? Get your motor scooters off of the sidewalks. Get your friggin' skateboards off of the sidewalks. Bikes off of the sidewalks. Everything in the street, okay? Wheels. Okay, roller skates, that's a little iffy. But you gotta be really careful with that. And bicycles, I'm sorry, you're not a car. You gotta choose. You don't stop at stop signs. Like, I got, I gotta be worried about getting hit, whether I'm a pedestrian or in a car. Because bikes could act like a car or they act like a pedestrian. Pick one. Pick one. Stop at the stop sign. Stop at the stop lights. Don't just go through because I'm a pedestrian. I'm walking. I, it's so many times I almost got hit by a bicycle. <laughs> so many times. Pedestrians get the, get the short end of the stick. Oh my god. Alright, well this video is getting long. I got more rants. I got more rants. Maybe we should do this more often. This is what happens when I get time off work. When I get time off work, this happens. Alright, well I'm gonna let you guys go. <laughs> Stacy's Stacy's soapbox. I can't even say that. I have bad S's. Stacy's soapbox. Alright. But you know whatever I said was true. It's true. I'm sorry. But it's true. <laughs> Alright, to all my Stacy cadets and all my there goes there goes a loud vehicle right now. <laughs> hey! Can't get a baseball bat. Ugh. To all my sis cadets and all my briquettes, I hope you have a groovy day. Till next time, peace.